Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am making a delicious, quick, very healthy cod and tender stem broccoli curry. I've left dinner very late today and my mic stopped working. So I've had to do a voiceover for this. Um, so uh, this is a really easy, uh, very simple curry and you only need store cover in ingredients for this. Uh, so that is very handy and it is super quick to make. And I'm going to be serving this with some toasted um, sourdough um, so let's get cooking but before that don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I share a new recipe okay that's enough of the voiceover <laughs> let me start cooking this delicious recipe nice hot pan uh, two tablespoon of oil you can use any of your choice i'm also going to add a drizzle of chili oil to this just to start off with some lovely heat okay um some curry leaves and a teaspoon of black mustard seeds go in let them kind of pop up and sizzle and then we add the onions this is going to take around uh, seven to eight minutes to get lightly golden. And while the onions are cooking, I'm going to prep, um, just going to grate a small piece of ginger and good four to five, oops, garlic clove. It's been uh, seven, eight minutes. This is looking perfectly lovely. Add in the ginger garlic and give it a good minute to cook out uh, so it's not like raw ginger garlic just give it a good minute or two once it's uh, had time to cook out i'm going to add a tin of top a tin of chopped tomatoes you could use four to five fresh tomatoes if you don't want to use the tin uh, but I am using tin tomatoes. Add a drizzle or teaspoon of honey to kind of um, balance the uh, sharpness of the tomatoes. Now add 100 ml of water, boiling water if possible. So we're just going to add 100 ml, not more, just 100 ml. And I'm going to let this cook on low heat for a good 10 minutes. Um, while the tomatoes are cooking, I'm just going to roughly chop up one red pepper. So it's been... Uh, 10 minutes take it, uh, grab a cloth oh lovely absolutely gorgeous um, now I'm gonna add the peppers just throw them on in I want them to soften up slightly not like mushy but not like super crunchy so I'm gonna give it um, just five minutes cover and give it oh it's hot five minutes so after five minutes just add around two to three hundred ml of uh, stock just vegetable stock and now give it some time to cook I'm just gonna add a tiny splash more there you go look at that lovely and just gonna give it another five minutes um, in the meantime I'm just going to get a nice big bunch of tender stem broccoli you can use normal broccoli you could use purple sprouting and then just chop them into chunks so five minutes later look how lovely this looks that deep red color 
and now I'm going to add some spices. So you can add salt to your taste. I'm having adding three fourths teaspoon of salt, a bit of chili powder again to your taste. Um, and then um, and then I've got this um, curry powder. I'm going to add two teaspoons. You know, I don't use this very often at all, but I'm using it today because it goes really well with the fish. And once I've added the spices, gonna throw in all the greens you can of course add just half the greens but our family loves greens um, especially the tender stem broccoli so and I think I've got not enough liquid so I'm just gonna add the rest 200 ml of stock so that's a total of 500 ml stock this doesn't take long to cook at all so this only needs five minutes to cook the broccoli five six minutes but i'm going to cook uh, with the fish as well so right now i'm just going to give it five minutes not more because i really don't want to overcook this so cover and give it five minutes so it's been five minutes oh absolutely glorious um, as you can see the um, broccoli is not overcooked I'm going to get the fish ready now so I'm taking enough cod uh, for four people here I have got the skin taken away as well once the cod is washed uh, just pat it dry make sure that you have dried both the sides of the cod and then just slice it into small pieces uh, you can chop them into quite large pieces or small pieces it's totally up to you but whatever you do make sure that they are all similar sized pieces so that they cook at the same time So the curry has been bubbling away with the, um, you know, uh, the tender stem broccoli and peppers. And now I'm just going to place the, the fish uh, into the curry. Uh, I know it's quite piping hot, but somehow I can just about manage. But please be careful when you're cooking at home. Be careful of the hot curry. So place this in the pan and we don't need to cover this with a lid because it literally takes three to four minutes to cook and you'll be able to just see when the fish is ready but it just takes minutes and make sure that you use a spoon and um, just cover all the fish with the sauce because uh, you want the fish to cook with that sauce so it gets that added uh, delicious flavor And there it is. Uh, it took exactly four minutes to cook and the fish is literally falling apart, uh, as you can see. And if you think there are any pieces that need extra cooking, if you've chopped them up in similar size, it, it should not be a problem. Um, like, look, I'm just showing it to you how delicate this cod is and it's cooked and it's ready uh, to be served. And there it is. The fish curry is ready. You guys have been asking for a fish curry recipe for such a long time. And I thought I will start with the simplest, easiest and the healthiest one. I'm going to taste this with a spoon. Um, what I'm trying to say here <laughs> is that um, I am going to serve this to my family and I'm not going to double dip the spoon. So the guys who are getting worried at home and stressing out, don't be worried. Uh, this is delicious. It's warming. Like I said, it's so simple to prepare and you have a meal ready in under 30 minutes. Uh, absolutely delicious. Uh, all I'm trying to say is that I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon of salt because the rest is uh, fine just needs a tiny bit of salt but you can enjoy this with some rice like i said i'm going to serve this with some bread but i hope you do give this a go don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you back here 
with another new recipe very very soon thanks guys bye